color theory and the color wheel. Have you ever wondered how designers and artists find and select the perfect colors to use for their work? The secret is color theory. Color theory combines art and science in a practical way to determine what colors look good together, as well as how various colors can be mixed and matched to achieve various effects. The system is based on a centuries-old tool called the color wheel, which you may be somewhat familiar with if you've ever taken an art class. Invented by Sir Isaac Newton in 1666, the color wheel maps the entire spectrum of color onto a circle. Color theory is based on the color wheel. The system shows a systematic relationship between all of the colors within the circle. Colors that look good together are called a color harmony. These pairings are often used to create palettes that can be used on both canvases and computer screens alike. Using the color wheel, we can look to something called color combination rules to determine which colors will create those color harmonies. We'll learn more about color harmonies later in a future video. One important call out. While they look nearly identical, there are actually two types of color wheels. RYB or red, yellow, blue, and RGB, or red, green, blue. The mechanics of these differences are a little abstract outside of an art school classroom, so we'll hit on just the highlights for our purposes. At a high level, the biggest difference between the two is that RYB, red, yellow, blue, is based on mixing color, which is how artists work on canvas. And RGB, red, green, blue, is based on mixing light, which is how computers and other monitors display color. In the e-learning world, we primarily use RGB or red, green, blue for our web-based designs, which tells us how much red, green, and blue light is being displayed on a monitor to produce a specific color. Fun fact, you may often see hex codes in the work you do, as this is how PowerPoint, Articulate Rise, and other web design platforms translate RGB values. But don't be thrown off. Both hex codes and RGB values are referring to how much light is displayed through the screen. It's just a different way of conveying the same information. We'll cover more about color codes later. So what's your main takeaway from this? If you're going to paint or print something, RYB's the wheel for you. If you're going to design something that will appear on a screen, you'll use RGB. Color theory is complex, and we're just scraping the surface. In future videos, we'll go into more depth about how to use this artistic science to make your designs even more dynamic.